Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are all doing well today. So, Pisces, before we get into this reading, as usual, I will be putting down the good old-fashioned <coughs> holiest of holy waters of all the holiest of all the world. I did throw a cucumber in my holy water. So it's cucumber holy water today. Very exciting for me. So, do you know what time it is? Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the thing? Okay, I know where we're going. <laughs> we're going to court. Tarot court, that is. Tarot's now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dong, presiding. You can all keep singing and suing. <laughs> just joking, just saying. <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy could be approaching you. Like I always say, it could very well be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And we will put it together like we always do, baby. I got a lot of responsibilities now at the Legion, especially doing the volunteer work now. I've taken on a whole new project. I am going to be having a bluegrass festival. It's going to be one year from Sunday. So I'm going to have to work hard to get people to fund it. Yeah, local businesses and whatnot. You're doing a lot of footwork. Show me the energy of the person, my be Okay. Mm hmm. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Okay. Mm. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Are you dealing with a couple of people here, Pisces? That's what I'm picking up here. You got your friend who's got feelings for you. <clears throat> you got somebody here who wants to sweep you off your feet. And why am I picking up three people? Why? I'm picking up three. I don't know. I don't always pick up. You guys know I don't always pick up two or three people. But for some reason... I'm picking up there's three people involved. One who is a little bit agitated, I would say. Whoever this, this person that might be agitated with you, uh, they might try to do something like, uh, what do I want to say? Not They're going to do something that's not so cool. It's, it's like this energy I'm picking up. They're agitated. Whatever the case is, uh, I feel like there's a change that's coming in, and I feel like this is going to allow for some kind of healing to take place here, okay? So I'm getting kind of like you're in the middle of some kind of serious, serious transformation here, Pisces. That's what I'm picking up for you in this reading. Yeah, this transformation is going to allow you to... Have clarity here about whatever it is you're needing clarity about it so you can move forward here and do some healing. But I don't know, Pisces. I'm picking up you got a friend who's got feelings for you. You got somebody here who wants to sweep you off your feet. You got somebody here who is agitated. So let's talk to the agitated person first. What do you got going on in this reading today? I have no idea. All right. What's this person agitated about here? They feel like they're going to do something. And put, like, something. They're going to do something here. They're coming towards you fast here. Yeah. What did I say? Somebody is agitated. What did I say? Look. Do you see the car? I said it. It came out. So, somebody could be getting ready to confront you here. And possibly start a fight. Alright. There looks like there's a lot of resistance here. 
A lot of anger, too. What's this all about? What is this all about? Three people in one reading? What the hell is going on here? Okay. They're going to come in, possibly speak their truth here, and get some kind of justice. Mm -mm -mm. What is this that they're going to do with justice? Maybe they're going to sue you. Holy shit. And I said in the beginning of the reading, what the hell? Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Somebody's going to speak up about a third-party situation here. I don't know who this is. But it's the good old peacock lady, the Salvation Army Queen, and Dapper Dan. Okay, look at that. Dapper Dan's checking out the peacock lady. And the Salvation Army Queen is nestled on his chest. She's so in love. She doesn't even recognize that Dapper Dan is checking the peacock lady out. And they even got the matching colors. So I feel like somebody's going to speak up about oh, a third party. This could be somebody around the situation. I, I don't know. Somebody finding out. This could be maybe your... You're in a relationship already, all right? And it looks as if you're in a relationship. It looks like you got to try. I don't even think this is a triangulation because if you're in the mix, that's four people. This is a quadrilation. I don't even know if that's a real word. By the way, I just did make that word up, okay, just so you know. So what's, gonna, what's happening here with the Justice and the Seven of Swords? Oh, shit. What's going on here with the Justice and the Seven of Swords? What is going on here with the Justice and Seven of Swords? Come on. Let's, I'm interested in what's going on in this reading. Oh, my God. Let's get juicy. Let's find the juice. What's the, ju what's the juice in this? What's going on here? Show me the juice. What's going on? Oh, oh sorry. Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to speak up about a third party. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. Eight of Cups, somebody's getting ready to walk away. Yeah, this person's got a lot of anxiety here. And it's like all of a sudden they found out something here and they were not having a good time. And now this person's had a realization that things are not as good as what they thought they were. They thought that things were good here. And now this person is devastated here and a little bit like, lo they're losing control. This person's losing control. Oh, my goodness. Somebody's getting ready to speak up about something here. It could be somebody that knows about this, too. That's going to call you out. Maybe call them out. I don't know. This is getting juicy, though, Pisces. This is really juicy. But, yeah, somebody's definitely getting ready to walk away. And this person is in the middle of a mental breakdown. There's no question about that. Oh, my goodness, Pisces. Ooh, boy. I think we need to talk to death first before we talk to these other two people that you're dealing with here. Okay? Somebody here. you got a friend that's got feelings for you. And you got somebody that's more than just a friend here. And this person is, they got some serious feelings for you. And they want you. Wow, Pisces. Wow. So, let's talk to this transformation that's getting ready to happen here for the Pisces. What's going on here? What is going on here? Oh boy, it's full illumination. The full Monty's coming in here. What's going on with the full Monty? Oh, oh boy, what's going on here? Yep. You're getting a chance to heal. So finally, if you're in a third party and you've been completely miserable, uh, let me just say, first of all, death, transformation. This is not going to be an easy road. I am not going to lie here, okay? I read for, I, I do, when I do personal readings and I get that out, I mean, I just don't, I can't, it, and it's, it's really hard when I'm doing a personal reading just to look somebody in the eye and be like, 
This is not going to be an easy road. But you're going to come out of this better. Because clearly this has not been an easy road. Maybe you've been really miserable. And I'm not here to judge. By all means, that is not what I am here to do. I am here to help. My goodness. But this is not going to be easy for you. But when you come out, or if you're in the middle of this, you're going to come out smelling like a freaking pink carnation here. Okay? Oh my goodness. Or maybe a cherry blossom even. But everything's going to be fine. You're just going to have to, you're going to go through the ringer a little bit on this one, Pisces. Okay. Who are we going to talk to? Your friend? Or this person who's really serious and more serious? Think of this. Oh boy. Let's talk to your friend. What's going on with Pisces' friend here? What's going on? Besides, we know that they think about you. They hold you. They hold you close to their heart. Oh boy! Looks like your friend here. Oh my goodness! Your friend is like. Oh, 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 oh. oh they, this friend has feelings for you, but your friend is like, no, oh no, 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 no. You're, this person may block you. Oh, let's go a little bit deeper on this. Oh my goodness. This is a juicy reading. What's going on here? What's going on here with Pisces' friend and this Nine of Wands? Yeah. And... Oh my God, Pisces! Oh, we're getting ready. I, Pisces, we're getting ready to have an eclipse here too. All right. So, with that being said, this eclipse—it's a portal, and it's intended to transform your life and push you forward in a big way. Okay, so it's like a door to a new dimension where certain truths are going to be revealed. The truths you know, but you, you've been avoiding looking at these. So I feel like you already know that your friend here, eventually, it's a new era too. It's a new era. It's a completely new era. And I've talked to people who don't even believe in astrology at all or any of that stuff my god but hearing the words come out of their mouth that have not that that have not that don't read tarot that don't know anything about that hearing words come out of people's mouth like that the new air like i'm just like whoa i'm like man the energy is hitting everybody some people are aware of it and others aren't but energetically, everybody knows. Even if you don't verbally, if, if, even if you don't study astrology or read tarot or any of that jazz. But your friend feels like they've been getting played. So whoever, I know you're not going to want to hear this and I'm sorry. I'm not here to tell you what you goddamn want to hear, okay? It would be great if I could come out here every day and be like, Oh, we got roses and carnations and and snow cones and cotton candy tarot today. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, then you get a cavity, okay? I'm not going to give you cavities here, okay? Maybe a cavity search, but <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Order in the court. Just read the damn tarot. Why? 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 Oh, and tomorrow's Friday the 13th. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's talk to this third person. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is nuts. This is nuts. This is... I don't think I've ever had a reading with three people in it. Oh, my God. Okay, let's talk to the nine. Let's talk to this person who's got really serious feelings for you. I mean, you know, it's not huge, but it's big. Well, they're coming your way. What are they coming? What are they coming to Pisces with? <laughs> oh, hopefully it's not an axe. <laughs> what are they coming to Pisces with, please? Okay, they're coming to you with a message. Okay, it could be a message of love here. All right. 
What's going on here? What's going on? Why are they coming to Pisces with the message? Okay, they're going to reveal something that they've been hiding. So what are they going to reveal that they've been keeping shoved down? What is this person going to reveal that they're going to keep, that they've been keeping shoved down? What are they going to reveal? That they're tired. This person's bothered. Okay? They're about done with it, though. So what are they about done with with the ten wands here? What are they tired of? This person is like, I, they don't want to think about you anymore, but I feel like it's in a pot. So what do they want to do then with Pisces? They're like, I don't want to think about you. See, I told you. Look at this. Guys, why? You know, my views have dropped. Now I'm going to complain. I'm not going to. My views have dropped like 80%. What is going on? My God. Are they trying to keep me silencio? The silencio? Huh? But you, somebody here is like, I don't want to think about you anymore. I want to be with you. And this looks like it's a soulmate. So this may be somebody that you already know that you have a strong soulmate connection with. And you've been bored with this. You got a friend that's got feelings for you, but your friend is tired of having feelings. And your friend feels like they're getting played, but then you got somebody else here who's like, I don't want to think about you, Pisces, anymore. I got to be with you, Pisces. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Okay. So, there's an opportunity for you to find some kind of healing here. Let's talk to this jazz. What's going on here? <laughs> And so you're on an upswing after all this that you've gone through here or getting ready to go through or maybe you already have went through it or maybe you're in the middle of going through it. I don't know, but you're on an upswing here for the better. So, it looks like balance is going to be restored back into your life. Whew. Wow. I'm going to get the final, I'm going to clear it off the white sage. I'm going to get one final message from this person who's pissed at you. Okay, what's this message? Okay. Yeah, they just want to heal. Mm-hmm. They want to heal. They want a new opportunity. What does Pisces' friend say? Your friend. Your friend. They're going to hold back now. Mm -hmm. And what does this person, this soulmate of Pisces, get want to say? Yeah. They love you. Holy shit. My God. Wow. We're going to grab one card for each sign with kitty boom booms for good old Jesse and Gabby, as usual. Jesse and Gabby are uh, long, they've been here, subscribed for a while. And uh, yeah, anyway, so I just want to explain that for all of you that are new. Pisces, how do you feel about Pisces? Pisces, how do you feel about Pisces? Sure. Yep, they're walking away. Cancer? Cancer. Cancer doesn't want to be held down anymore. Scorp. Scorp. Okay. Scorpio and you are not talking. Oh, boy. Aries. <laughs> Aries feels like you guys speak well together. Uh, la la Leo. La la Leo. La la Leo, la la Leo, la la Leo, la la Leo. Okay. Leo has been watching you, and I feel like Leo's wanting some kind of, like, attain some balance. Saggy, waggy. Sure, Sag. Sagittarius is not having a good time right now. Libra. 
Uh, Libra is tired. I don't know what that means. Gemini, 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 you guys are not talking. <laughs> Aquarius, my goodness. Aquarius, sure. Aquarius uh, is like panicking. I don't know what that means. Virgo. Of course I don't know what this means. I don't know what anything means here. I'll just read the tarot. Okay. Um, Virgo finds peace and tranquility with you. Okay. Taurus. Taurus. They're trying to move on, but they keep looking back. And happy, happy, how do you feel about the Pisces? Capricorn wants an opportunity here with you. Okay. So, thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. This fish is going everywhere. These are the tales of your fins. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Tarot's adjourned.